God, good morning and welcome to the Sunrise with Jesus. Friends, when we look at the world around us, we have come to realize that there are calamities that will happen, that we with all our powers cannot stop. But one thing we know, we are insured if we keep our eyes on God. There could be certain days when it is bright and beautiful. And there could be seasons in our life where we look up and we see it is so cloudy. We realize perhaps we are standing on the brink of a storm. And there could even be moments when we must walk through dark nights. But through it all, we have a God who is going to put a new song in our mouths. He's going to fill us with a new joy and that joy will be our strength. Friends, Jesus never told us that there will be no storms, but he has shown us that he has the power to still the storms and what's more, he can offer you and me that power to walk on waters. Friends, we have dwelt too long looking at what the powers of the world can offer us. We have worried, we have imagined, we have dreamt. If only we had this much of wealth, we could have saved ourselves, we could have done so much for our families, we could have done so much even perhaps of good and charity. We have imagined and I remember we have even written essays, if I became the president of USA, if I became the prime minister of my country. We have imagined if we had the world at our feet, we would have so much power, when in fact, you and I are offered the real, the supreme power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus offers you and me the power from above. And here is where you and I must know, no circumstance, no calamity in this world, nothing in our circumstances can ever lead us to a place where we are bankrupt because you and I, have a God who is unparalleled in glory, unchanging in his love and providence. Friends, I'm reminded of a very charming story of a very poor Italian family that was migrating to the Americas. The story is set in the early 20th century. This little family sold all their belongings and with that money, they managed to get aboard a ship that would take them to the USA. And in preparation of this journey, they got a lot of bread and a lot of cheese so that they would not have to spend too much for their journey. Well, after a month of being on board, obviously the bread became stale and fungoid and the cheese became stinky and sour. And on one day, the little child of the family refused to eat the food and began to cry with pain. The parents felt very guilty because they had a wonderful dream, but they did not calculate whether the children would be able to endure the journey. And in that moment, they gathered the few coins they had. They put it in the little hands of their little son and they said, there is a restaurant down the deck of the ship. Go and eat whatever you want, but know this. We have a few more weeks to survive. We would have to manage with what we have. But once we reach this new country, we would have everything we have. They consoled him and sent him. He went running down the deck, but in a few moments, he would come running back. He would fling the coins and he would weep. And when they tried to ask him what exactly had gone wrong, he was so full of tears, he could not speak for quite a while. Finally, when he ran out of tears and he was sufficiently comforted by his parents, he spoke and he said that when he went to that grand restaurant, he realized that there was a banquet there 
and they had told him the cost of the meals in that banquet hall was already covered by what they had paid for their travel fare. Friends, we realize that this family was living in poverty, living on stale bread and stinking cheese while they had a banquet waiting for them. Friends, you and I must know, no matter what our circumstances may be, if you and I today, we are living in distress, if we are living in anxiety, if we are living in anger and bitterness, if we are living feeling clueless about today or even about tomorrow, it is only because we have not realized that we have a God of abundance, a God who will meet every need of ours according to his riches. Where there is sadness, he will pour in joy. Where there is anger, he will pour in peace. Where there is brokenness, he will pour in healing. And we shall live life in all its fullness because this is the God we have. Dear friends, we often hear people complaining, I'm tired of my life. I'm giving up on my marriage. I'm frustrated in my workplace. This drinking habit will destroy me. Bitter remarks. What is behind these complaints that we hear often? These people have taken their destiny, the destiny of their life in their own hands. They had thought they could manage their lives by themselves. And all the calculations have failed them. They're becoming desperate and angry, giving up on life. They are slipping into fatalism. In fact, Jesus was sent by the Father to lead us from fatalism to faith. Let me read for you from the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verses 24 and 25. The Jews gathered around him, said to him, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me, but you do not believe, and he will perish in your disbelief. You know, my dear friends, Jesus made it very clear again and again that he was sent by the Father for one purpose, to make sure that no one perishes. John 3.16, God so loved the world. That's where Jesus begins. God so loved the world that sent his only son to the world so that no one who believes in him should perish. No one who believes in him should perish. Why is it we are perishing in our problems, in the wrong things happening to us, in the way people deal with us, in the sinful situations, why do we perish? We perish because we do not believe in Him. We do not turn to Him. We do not accept Him as the Savior. We live as if there was no Savior. We had no Savior. My life depends on me. It's a big mistake we are doing. In fact, the Lord is waiting. The Lord is waiting to take authority over everything wrong in our lives. Everything that makes us sad. Everything that frustrates us. The Lord is waiting to turn everything to our good. To make sure 
that we should not perish but then we must turn to him we must surrender everything wrong and sad into his hands and he takes charge and therefore today we want to affirm our faith in the Lord as Simon Peter said you are the Messiah the son of the living God you were sent by the father and Jesus said Simon you are blessed you are blessed it's not flesh and blood that revealed this to you but my father in heaven when someone hurts me that hurt feeling could ferment into a revenge our relationship could be broken when I commit a sin that sin could lead me to destruction when I become sad the sadness could lead me to despair but every such moment the father is waiting because the father loves us he wants to make sure that we should not perish the father is waiting to reveal the son as our savior all that is needed to take it to prayer to give it in the hands of the Lord and the Lord will take authority but the Lord takes authority over our sickness over a sinful situation over a challenge the Lord will empower us with his power the power of the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit will descend into our hearts and there will be joy and peace and love flourishing that's why Jesus said you abide in me I will abide in you and he will bear fruit an invitation to turn to him and surrender a life to him at the promise you will bear fruit the fruits of the Holy Spirit love and peace and joy you know dear friends no challenge should ever frighten us no problem in our marriage will ever destroy us no one can ever hurt us when we are united with the Lord when we accept Jesus as our Savior and that means offering to him everything wrong in our lives believing he will save us and that's what the Lord is waiting to do for us with 
music and singing. Sing out, the Lord is near. Building a temple here, a palace of praise, a throne of thanksgiving. A joyful song His love goes on and on When praises abound His glory surrounds us Building His temple here Sing out the Lord is near Sing out the Lord is near Thank you God, hallelujah, hallelujah Lord. We have a God who is near to us. Sing out to Him. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We are here in the presence of our God. The Lord who is near to us. The Lord whose love never ends. The word says His mercies are new every morning. Inexhaustible are His mercies. His love goes on and on. O oh God, this day as I come to you, the Israelites were fleeing the land of slavery and they reach the point where before them is the deep sea, the Red Sea. And they turn and see behind them is the demonic Pharaoh, his army, his chariots, his horses. The powers of the world were behind them threatening to destroy them. And in this moment of deep despair, they wonder why did they ever dream of freedom? Why did they ever dare for holiness to be with God who said He will lead them to fullness of life? Defeat was so sure. It was either death in the sea or death at the hand of the Pharaoh. And in that moment of deep despair, in that moment when Defeat seemed so real. God speaks. As God speaks to you this moment. For the Lord speaks His word that He will fight for you. The Lord is a warrior who fights for you. Spirit says the Lord, I will fight for you, I will see you through by the power of my spirit, says the Lord. I will fight for you, I will fight for you by the power of my spirit, says the Lord. I will fight for you, I will see you through, by the power of my spirit, says the Lord. In the day of the battle, you'll be fearless. In the midst of the storm, in the midst of the storm, you will prevail, as you lift up the mind name of Jesus know my church that you will never fail I will fight for you I will fight for you I will fight for you by the power of my spirit says the Lord I 
I will fight for you. I will see you through. I will see you through. By the power of the Spirit, says the Lord. At this moment, give to God that area where you are struggling. That area where you need God to intervene. Perhaps it's a debt. Perhaps it's a lost opportunity. Give it to Jesus now. The Lord will fight for you. Perhaps it's that big healing that you need in your body. It's that sickness that is threatening, threatening to destroy your life. Give it to Jesus now. Perhaps it's a deep brokenness in your family. A relationship that needs a new life. Praise it now in the battlefield. The battlefield where the Lord is going to fight your battle. Perhaps it's that habit, that habit that has deprived you of a confidence to stand before God. A habit that perhaps has broken your family. A habit that leaves you in guilt. Know that God does not despise you, but He is waiting to fight your battle. Tell the Lord, Lord, here I decide to trust in you. I decide, O oh God, to trust in your power of holiness more than the powers of darkness of the world. And as you hear the word of God being sung and prayed here, you will experience the power of God setting you free. I will fight for you, says the Lord. I will fight for you. I will fight for you. By the power of my spirit, says the Lord. I will fight for you. I will see you through. By the power of my spirit, says the Lord. I will fight for you. I will fight for you. By the power of my spirit, says the Lord. I will fight for you. I will see you through by the power of my spirit, says the Lord. In the Lord is a God who is true to His Word. And it is this God who is telling you, Do not be afraid. Stand your ground. And open your eyes and you will see the victory the Lord will win for you today. Today is a day of salvation. For these enemies that you see today, you will never see again. Because the Lord will fight for you and His victory for you will be complete. The Lord will fight for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. I will fight for you. I will fight for you by the power of my spirit, says the Lord. Offer that depression now. I will fight for you. I will see you through. The Lord will see you through. By the power of my spirit, says the Lord. In the day of the battle, you'll be fearless. In the midst of the storm, you will prevail. As you lift up the mighty name of Jesus, know my church that you will never fail. 
I will fight for you. Reach out to God. I will fight for you. The Lord is coming to bless By you. By the power of my spirit, says the Lord. By the power of His Holy Spirit. I will fight for you. The Lord is fighting your battle. I will fight for you. By the power of my spirit, says the Lord. Let us kneel down wherever we are. For now, the Lord is going to bless us. The anointing of the Holy Spirit will carry us through to receive the victory Jesus has won for us. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise you, God. We worship you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Almighty God, we praise you. Oh, Jesus, we adore you. Hallelujah. of the Divine Retreat Center needs your support as they continue in their commitment to preach the good news of Jesus through the weekly retreats, the daily online and television ministry, through the service of 3,000 disadvantaged persons, the mentally challenged, the aged, the destitute women, the sick and abandoned and economically disadvantaged families. If you are inspired to share in this ministry through the sacred service of almsgiving, we invite you to send your love offering to Divine Charitable Trust CD account number 0402231. 0000014 HDFC Bank Chalakudi Branch IFSC Code HDFC 0000402 and email the details to Divine Retreat Center at gmail.com.